president of the United States is really serious about securing that border, we can show him how to do that. Is but he I haven't to even see had you? a phone call from this president. You have not had a He's coming. He's coming next week. Okay. Uh, he's coming for a fundraiser. If he doesn't go to the border, I think it's a real reflection of his lack of concern about what's really going on there. You know, I would agree with that. I think it would be. A, it's it's ridiculous. It is. Where's the uh, the town in in California? Is it Marietta, where they had people who blocked two buses, two buses who were bringing illegal immigrants in from uh, the Rio Grande area there in Texas? They had two something like a hundred and what was it? A hundred and let me look at my notes here. 140 some odd uh, illegal immigrants. Most of them were women and children. And they loaded them up onto this bus and they drove them to California. They drove them to uh, Southern California and they were going to let them off there. They had been letting off others at just a Greyhound bus station. And they say, here, you need to come in for an immigration hearing in two weeks. Do you think that The individuals who crossed into the country illegally, when they are given a notice to go to an immigration hearing in a couple of weeks, do you think that they come back? Do you think that they do it? What do you think, Kevin? Do you think I'm sure all of them come back, right? I'm sure they all say, oh, yes, yes, we'll be there. And they all show up because that's the process that we have. Isn't that how it works? Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think they're going to show up. But that's what they do. They were just they they just drop them off. And then they and then these when you have thousands of people that arrive in a small border community, because that's what they're doing. They they take them up from the southern part of Texas, from the Rio Grande area, and they put them on planes and they put them on trains and they put them on automobiles, not with Steve Martin or John Candy. I hate that movie still. By the way, I hate it so badly. And when it comes around Christmas time and Thanksgiving, people all across the country, now that we are national, are going to understand why. Because that Steve Martin was so ignorant to John Candy in that movie. Anyway, I get that they were acting, but I'm still not over it. They they, they drive them up and they, and they take them to all different parts of the Southwest. So Marietta, uh, Marietta in Southern California, they it was three buses, excuse me. They blocked three buses from entering and they had like 140 people on them. They were taking them to this border station in uh, in in Marietta. One hundred and forty illegal immigrants. Now, part of them were supposed to be processed at this border patrol station in Marietta. And then they were going to be released to family and friends. And then, you know, a couple of weeks later, then they have to go to immigration court. Now, when I had spoken with uh, a number of people who have been at the border. I was talking to Congressman Louie Gohmert about this. Something like 90% of those that are dropped off never actually make it back to immigration court. Surprise! They never actually make it back. And these border towns, they said that they do not have the resources to deal with it. So these individuals in Southern California, they block these buses from dropping these people off. They're going to process them at that location, and then they're free to just walk out. And they have no idea what the criminal history of any of anybody is because border control, they can search if you're a United States citizen, but they can't get your criminal record if you're a foreigner, especially when you're crossing illegally. There's a, well, they know that much and they don't do anything about it. So it's irrelevant. There is nothing stopping them once they are processed and then told, come back here for your immigration hearing. Nothing stops them from going anywhere they want to without any documentation in it at all whatsoever. You know, Congressman Gomer told me that there were gang members that were coming in. The uh and 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 people that had you know records and 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 just I mean it just it's insane. He said that they know that there were some criminals that they had seen before that did have a record or that were known to people in that were known to people in the border towns that had worked with drug cartels and had wor- worked with these gangs and funneling drugs over the border. And yet they weren't able to do anything. They just crossed illegally. They put them up on a bus. That's how it is. And so the people in this town of Marietta are being attacked. And they're being called racists. <laughs> 